out, but you're going to have to verify that. Uh, 619 or 8, November, fly runway heading, maintain 2100, runway 30, cursor runway 12, cleared for takeoff. Hello, patrons. Welcome back. So what you're going to see in this video is Austin flying one of his very first instrument training flight lessons. Um, we had clouds, and, and so I thought, let's just file in the system. We'll go from San Carlos to Livermore. No failures, no shortcuts. We'll take it as it comes, and I'll show him what a real-world IFR flight looks like. Uh, mostly I'm trying to show him how I would manage an instrument flight, dealing with what's happening now, then thinking ahead about what's next using the five T's, and then managing the big picture with the five A's. So you're going to hear me talking a lot. There's a lot that I have to explain here. This is, you know, this is really beyond where he is in the training, but this is sort of a glimpse of where he's headed. So I kind of wanted him to see it. There's all sorts of cool little training tips that come up. So at times I'll stop it and add a voiceover. Um, but for the most part, this is unedited. So this is the raw flight lesson. I think you'll get a lot out of it. Um, comment in the, on the Patreon page if you have questions and uh, I'll be sure to answer them. And please enjoy this video. One, two, clear for takeoff, Six one nine eight November. All right, so we're clear to the left, we're clear to the right. Good. Lights, camera, and then action. Trim, flaps, boom, all right. Good. When you line up, just glance at the compass and the heading and make sure yep. it says one, two. Showing one. Checking the mag compass and the heading is very important. Another important thing are takeoff callouts, and you can see the ones that I teach here on the left. Uh, you'll hear Austin do some of them. They're not exactly what I'm teaching, but we have time to work on it, and we do each flight. Been applied. Good. Gauges are up and running. Good. The airspeed is alive. Our abort point is at second wind sock, which we don't need. Good. And here's rotate speed. Excellent. Push forward a little bit to get best rate of climb. Good. There you go, a little right rotor. Best rate of climb, 74. There you go. And there's the end of our runway. All right, good. So we're going to fly runway heading all the way up straight ahead here to 1,000. Yep. All right, 200 feet, flaps are up. Good. A little bit to the left there, heading 120. All right, let's engage the autopilot. Yeah. So autopilot on, and then flight level. Nine eight November contact NorCal now one three five point six five. Good day. NorCal six one nine eight November. Good day. All right, let me show you one of the best whoa, whoa, lessons whoa, you're gonna learn. Weird. Hold up. Oh, what? that's the autopilot. Oh. I'm like, yeah. wow. So you want to go to flight level change mode. There you go. Flip NorCal over, but don't call them yet. If they need you, they'll call you. You're aviating right now. We're going to aviate, then we're going to navigate, and we're going to communicate last, okay? Okay. So I just let this thing do its thing. Yeah, just step on the slab. Yeah. You can tell what the autopilot's doing because everything it's doing is green. Everything in white is what it's expecting it's going to do. Yep. All right. So right now, how do I turn up your voice? Uh, here, this knob for this you. Knob? Yep. Check one, two, two. Yep. Okay. So right now, the autopilot's in heading mode. The autopilot's engaged. You're in flight level change, climbing 91 knots to pick up your altitude of 2,100. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's run a checklist to make get confident with what's now. That's a thousand feet to go. Climb and maintain three thousand six one nine eight November. Go ahead, just change the altitude. Notice how he needed you. He called you. There was no rush to call him. Yep. Right. So we're still running our first checklist. We got. 125, 120, how the light's looking. Yep, right, landing Pito line heat off, Pito heat on. Number nine or eight, November, turn left, heading 100. Zero, zero. Left to 100, zero, zero, 619 or eight, November. Left, you're an autopilot, left to 100. Zero, zero. Zero. Right, right. All right, good. Now, flow check's looking good. Let's back yep. it up with a checklist. Okay. Make sure you're not missing anything. November, contact approach 121.3, good day. 121.3, good day. A little more right rudder. There you go. Just center the slab. Perfect. American 76. Yeah, flip that over. Get your checklist done first. Yep. Uh, climb. Throttle, flaps, mixture, rich, lights, white plan. All right. Okay. Good. All right. 
Bravo at NorCal, no, you're 1,900 climbing, 3,000. NorCal, Skyhawk 61908, November, 1,900 climbing, 3,000. Number 61908, November, NorCal, departure, thank you. Good. All right, now, um, let's get in front of the plane a little bit. There's yeah. not, not, not much we can do in front of us. That's 1,000 feet to go, so we're just going to level off. Okay. We're expecting the vectors to San Jose, but he might cut the corner here and put you on Victor 334. So for right now, there's not much to do to get ahead. Okay. So we can start working on the first A. When you So notice that we did what's happening now. Yep. Then we got in front of the plane with what's next. Yep. And now we have time to work on those A's. So yep. the first A is ATIS. Let's see if we can pick up the ATIS at Livermore. Probably too early. 0.9 miles southeast. Oops, not that one. Nine feet get down a little bit. Traffic 12 o'clock high. No factor. All right, we can't get that yet. Um, let's put next rad on here. I think it's better. It's more important than terrain. I just want to get a look at it. So if you go to map, actually go back to, uh, there you go, go map, and then hit next rad. Notice next rad and terrain are mutually exclusive. So there's the, the, that's the heavy stuff out in the valley. Nothing like that. Nothing like that in our future. The law looks good, so you can go back to terrain. But you can't have those two things on together. So let's go back to terrain, because we, now we know there's no rain or radar or anything. Got it. About. Okay, good. All right. All right. Now what? Um, we're about to level off, so let's just do that, and then we'll go to approach briefing. So ATIS, yep. we can't get. Altimeter, we can't get. Let's wait for this next aviate thing to happen, which okay. is a level off. Yep. So nine eight November, turn left heading zero three zero vector three one zero three zero zero three zero nine eight November. Good. Left. Okay. Using a heading bug to zero three zero. What was the second thing you said? Uh, they always tell you why they're vectoring you. In this oh. case, he's vectoring for your climb, uh, getting you away from this high terrain. All right. Let's go ahead and power back for our level off now. Set some power All right. setting. All right. So let's do twenty three hundred or so. Yeah, that's fine. Twenty four is fine too. Okay. So 2350 if you're going to 23 because that will slow down a little bit. There you go. Good, and then uh, lean it out a little bit. Outside air temperature is 8 degrees, good. Okay. Just run a flow check. Lights are where you want them. Yep. Engines looking good. Pressure, temperature, vacuum, all that electrical mixture. Yep. So let's go back in with power a little bit. It's creeping out on you. 2300, solid. There you go. Okay, now you can see that he definitely cut the corner for us here. So let's yep. activate this leg. Okay. All right, so it's going to be flight plan then. Um, let's see, get the cursor down to Sunol and select menu. Enter. Menu. Nope. Oh, menu. Yep. Sunol, menu. Activate leg, enter. Good. Yep. Good, now notice this line's pink. And now you're flying, you're flying toward a needle. That's always important. This is your main navigation here. Everything else you have is for situational awareness. Center one three three point seven. Thirty three seven. Whiskey, go getting. For some reason, you're quiet and they're loud. Check one two. Test one two. Check yeah, check you're check, just... check. That's funny because they're quiet for me. I don't know what that is. I let. Hmm. There was an air met today for moderate icing, which is not good, but it's from the freezing level up, Yep. which is why, again, I wanted to look at the, the temperature. So what's the outside air temperature now? Eight degrees Celsius. All right, and we're going to get a climb another 2,000 feet. Well, how much can we expect that to go down? Uh, is it uh, four degrees per thousand? Two degrees per thousand. Two degrees yep. per thousand. So it's sometimes hard to tell what I, what's ice and what's, what's not ice. Yep. Like if you look at this, if you were in icing conditions, the only difference between this and ice would be you wouldn't see the water sort of rolling back. The only difference is what? November, turn right heading 090. That's you. Say 09. 090, 619 in November. Good, don't fight the autopilot. Okay. Let's try 557, turn rating 030, climb maintain 5000. 030, climb maintain 5000, ready to try 557. Alright, I'm going to start a timer for the, uh, uh for the, the commissioner. 90, thanks for Papa. 
All right, we need to start looking at the approach into Livermore. Okay. We probably don't have that. How do we do that? Is that on your map? Yeah. Here, I'll show you. It's a 9 or 8 November. Turn rating 100, please. 100? Yep. 100, 9 8 November. Let's try 557 contact. Approach 125.35. Oops, I'm sorry. 535, Sky was 3371, 2, 300, climb to 5,000. Sky was 3371, okay. Norcal departure, radar contact. Um, you can brief this. So we're going to, there's only two approaches at Livermore. We're going to brief this one here. Okay. So an approach briefing starts in the top right. Yep. Uh, we're looking at the RNAV runway 25 right approach into Livermore. This Open approach. November climb and maintain 5,000. I'm going to maintain 5,000, 9 or 8 November. All right, which always starts with putting in the new altitude you want. November, and then we're hitting 105. 105, 9 or 8 November. All right, good. There you go. Now go ahead and tell it how you want it to get there via flight level change. Good. Up, 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 up. You press the up button until you see 90 knots or so, and then add power. Good. Bring power in for the climb. There it goes. Right rudder, with always with the power. Just step on the slab. You and I always do a flow check when we enter a climb. Yep. So, uh, where's the uh, little too much rudder there? Uh, just enough to just enough to center that slab. Where's Where's what? Where's our climb speed? Oh, I see. Here, anything the autopilot's doing is at the top of your PFD, and it's in green. It's a nine or eight November. Are you on top? Uh. Uh, 9 in November is in between layers. Uh, we're on top of the first layer now. Okay. He can't see clouds. Eight Tango Alpha flight so he needs zero. intelligence. If he tells you traffic at 12 o'clock and you're in the clouds, you just say IMC, meaning I'm in the clouds. I but see. IMC meaning instrument meteorological conditions. Okay, so now we're headed toward this course. And what we would expect is when this course comes in, we're going to turn left yeah, and follow it. We're going to see traffic 3 o'clock, 3 miles, and a right turn 4,000 climbing is going 737. Uh, tell him your IMC, you can't see that. IMC, can't see, 9 or 8 November. All right. Um, so I just say IMC, he knows what I mean. He knows what I mean, yeah, yeah. Or, or uh, yeah, so. What is, is this for my right? Uh, yeah, there you go. That's your general volume. That's oh, like, you're on my left. I'm only on your left? How yeah, I wonder if it's a setting. If it's area or something? I don't know. It's weird. Uh, all right. What's that noise? That's altitude. A thousand to go. A thousand, yep. yeah. Good. All right. When that course comes in, we're going to expect a left turn. Let's go back to looking at the approach. Okay. You can see, man, IFR is busy. <laughs> All right, so the final approach course here is 255 to the west. The touchdown zone elevation is 400 feet. Um, we don't have to circle today, I don't think, but if we did, it's not authorized at night. It doesn't matter to us. Um, All right. 9 or 8 November, turn left hitting 050. 050, 9 or 8 November. Good. We need to go out the contact approach. What's the outside air? Seven. Okay, so we should be fine on that. All right, uh, we have the the medium approach, medium intensity uh, approach lighting system, and if it's a missed approach, we climb to 4,000, direct to some waypoint, and then we track over there. Okay. So here's we're down here somewhere. We're gonna nine or eight November contact approach one two five point three five PD. One two five three five nine or eight November. Good day. That course is coming in. Weird. It's gonna keep us on this vector. Can we just tell him where we're at. Uh, he knows where we are. Just say uh, yeah, four thousand eight hundred climbing five thousand. Approach Skyhawk six one nine or eight November four thousand eight hundred climbing five thousand. Denver 61908 November North Cal Approach, Open Altimeter 29089, Track 1 o'clock, 7 miles westbound, 6005 or 6000 E-175. Hold on a second. Uh, we're looking for that traffic, and uh, just we're just coming up on top here. I could call the tops about, about 4900 for 98 November. We're 98 November, Roger. Advise when you have information, Golf at Livermore, plan the ILS Approach 25 right. Okay, we'll advise Golf, plan the ILS 25 right, 6198 November.